Hi, I'm Tyler Frederick, and this is a part of my testimony and how the Lord set me free. I grew up in San Jose, California with my mom and older brother. My parents got divorced when I was two, so I only saw, that, so I only saw my dad once or twice a month on the weekends. The male role model in my life quickly became my older brother. My mom worked a lot and wasn't around, so we had little to no supervision growing up. <clears throat> By age eight, I was molested by a family member. At age 10, I began looking at pornography and also watching it a lot at friends' houses. This led to me using a video camera and recording my mom's friend getting in and out of the shower. Then I would watch it, then I watched it over and over. My brother also started his path of drugs and drinking. Around 13, I remember my brother breaking my mom's nose. As she locked herself in the bathroom, crying and bleeding, I grabbed a kitchen knife and threatened to kill him if he came any closer. This was the first of many times watching my older brother, who I looked up to, get carried away in handcuffs after the police arrived. After serving some time, my brother got released on house arrest and came back home. This was when my brother introduced weed into my life, which also became cigarettes and drinking. Stealing and lying became my norm to support my habits. I used to break into lockers at school and take jewelry, money, and clothes to trade for drugs. Doing drugs paired with my rough home life ruined my attendance. And after going to four different high schools, I quit and got my GED. I then moved out of my mom's house to live with my dad, who eventually moved to Sacramento. He was engaged at the time, and she had a son around my age. This was when I was introduced to methamphetamines. Her son and I smoked meth every day. It turned into a five-year battle. My weight went from 170 pounds down to 140 pounds. I would stay awake for two days at a time and begin seeing demons. I constantly thought of suicide, thinking I could escape this drug I moved to Sacramento with my dad and got a job doing insulation. I later found out the owner was addicted to meth and I began smoking with him. This turned into months of free meth. I didn't know why he was so generous though. My last shift there, I was so high at his house that he took advantage of me and sexually assaulted me. This traumatic event led led me to continue my addiction for yet another year. My life was so low, I would try anything to quit. I began calling out to a God I didn't know. God heard heard my cries, and I was completely healed of this drug overnight. Meaning, I woke up, I never smoked meth again, no withdrawals or rehab centers needed, God just took it. Even after this miracle, I still didn't pursue God. Less than a year later, I was set free from my addictions to weed and cigarettes and pornography. In 2008, I met my amazing wife. I met my amazing wife, and we began attending The Rock, where I was baptized and gave my life to the Lord. In
In 2010, I had my appendix removed and was prescribed Norco and Vicodin. This started my addiction to pills. Lying to my wife became normal. Spending a lot of our money to buy pills, I was constantly filled with anger. After five to six years of battling these drugs, I decided I couldn't continue this path, so I stopped cold turkey. I was admitted into the ER. For three to four days, I was very sick, detoxing from the pills. I began seeking for truth over my life and healing. And again, he showed up. With a lot of praying and God's help, I finally found freedom. <clears throat> no more drugs, a beautiful wife, four amazing kids, and a church family that accepts me. I know, I know there are some of you that have similar life stories, but guess what? This freedom isn't just for me. Thank you. Thank you.